In this question, we have a correct Lewis dot diagram shown. We're told it's for a neutral atom in period three. And we're going to use the diagram to answer the questions. The first question asks, how many valence electrons does this neutral atom have? Remember, valence electrons means the outer shell. And a Lewis dot diagram only shows the outer shell. So here we can see we've got one, two electrons in our outer shell. So two valence electrons. So we can fill that in here. Next it asks, what group is this element in? Well, as we now know, there's a pattern, which is that the valence electrons matches up with the group. So if we pop over to our periodic table, group one and group two have one and two valence electrons. And then we skip over to group 13, which has three valence electrons, group 14, which has four valence electrons, 15 with five, 16 with six, 17 with seven, and 18 with eight. So since this atom is an element with two valence electrons, we know it's gonna be group two. Okay, so at this point, we know that it's in group two and we've been told in the question that it's in period three. So to figure out which element it is, we're gonna to have to go to our periodic table and we're looking for something that's in group two and period three. So it, we know it's gonna be in this group and this period and magnesium there is the element that's in both group two and period three. So we know that magnesium is going to be our element. And so we can complete our Lewis dot diagram because the thing missing here is that the element symbol should be in the middle of our diagram.